Hi, I'm Marika and I am the assistant director on Julius Caesar. We're in Rome, it's 44 BC and it's the festival of Lupercal, which is this wild fertility festival, big party in Rome. We have Julius Caesar, who is processing through the streets of Rome to celebrate his recent military triumph. And on his procession through the streets of Rome, he comes across a soothsayer, a soothsayer who says, beware the Ides of March. The Ides of March is just a day in the middle of March, according to the Roman calendar. We think it's about the 15th of March. Julius Caesar, who is super powerful, thinks, I don't need to pay any attention to him. Off he goes. Brutus and Cassius, two noblemen, two friends, two uh, politicians, they're involved in government, hear that Julius Caesar is possibly being crowned king. And they, re they don't have kings in Rome. They haven't had kings in Rome for 500 years. So they're pretty worried that one man is going to become king and then become sole ruler of Rome. And they think that's just too much power for one person. And that's not good for everybody. We need, to, we need to get rid of Julius Caesar and we need to make sure we uphold the Republic. We have shared rulers in Rome. They plot to kill him. Caesar hasn't been listening to the warnings and on the Ides of March, everybody goes to the capital, business as usual. And as they start the day's business, the daggers come out and the conspirators assassinate Caesar. We think he had about 33 stab wounds. So they really, they really went for it. Caesar's dead, the conspirators think, Great, we've saved Rome, we're going to run through the streets crying liberty, freedom, we're going to have shared power again. It's all going to be great, but it's not. Mark Antony, really good friend of Caesar's, fantastic, uh, fantastic soldier, very, um, uh, very famous for being a great military leader, um, has seen the dead Julius Caesar and basically plots revenge on Brutus and Cassius. And so what he decides to do is to team up forces with somebody called Lepidus, who, is, um, uh, who had a strong army, and also somebody called Octavius Caesar. Octavius Caesar was Julius Caesar's nephew and had actually been appointed as his heir. And they go to war with Brutus and Cassius, who have fled out of Rome, quite a long way out of Rome, actually. We think about two, 300 miles outside of Rome and they have a big battle. We see them fighting against each other and sadly for Brutus and Cassius, it doesn't go their way and they end up killing themselves when they realise that all is lost. Antony, Octavius, they're victorious in the end and they are going to be the new leaders of Rome. Luckily, we've also got Antony and Cleopatra so you can see what happens 10 years later.